What's up, everybody? Um, so today we're going to be reviewing the Zip Front Tank Binder by Agus and Edie. Um, I have the 5X long version. Zip in the front. This is the back. Um, very comfortable. Very comfortable. The zipper is extremely convenient. Um, here in a minute, I will show you guys what it looks like on me. Um, but this binder is going to be very convenient for those who have limited range of motion in their shoulders. Um, or if you're like me, if your bones slip in, slip in and out of position, um, this binder is also very good for those of us who are pretty heavy chested. Um, if the compression gets to be too much, you can just zip it down, take it off. Um, it's also good, again, in, in, for example, in my case, my ribs tend to bend a lot. Um, like the actual bone tends to cave in a little bit. Um, they also tend to shift around a lot. So when binding becomes too uncomfortable for me, the fact that I could just unzip it, take it off, and go about my day is very helpful. Um, it, it's very breathable. It uh, even helps, you know, tuck my stomach in without being suffocating. Um, I, unfortunately, I cannot bind very often, and when I do, I cannot bind for long periods of time. However, this is the first binder I've used, and I've I've tried Shapeshifter's GC2B um, Underworks. My cat's redecorating. Anyway, um, I have tried a lot, and none of them are as comfortable as this particular binder. So, let me show you guys. For reference, I'm not binding. Not binding. Stand by. Hey, and so I'm wearing the binder. Big difference. As you can see, everything is pretty well tucked away. Um, I probably could have adjusted the chesticles better, but you know, it's what it is. Um, this is as good as I can do with my body type. Um, this also helps me with my posture, which is an added bonus, because since everything is so unstable with my body, my posture sucks. Um, but like I said, um, this really is one of the best experiences I've had. Um, the tag on the back, well, not the tag, it's tagless, but the name on the back is Gender Bender. Um, the link, uh, one of the links in the description below uh, has the, uh, is the link to the Agnes Needy website. Um, stop eating the blinds. Hey! Yeah, thank you. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, it, like I said, it's very comfortable, helps my posture, um, easy to get on and off. I know for me, I have to pull it on over my head, already zipped up because my chest is so big. Um, others probably won't have that problem, um, but taking it off is 
just unzip it. Super easy. Will you stop trying to dig a hole in China? Jerry. Hope. The natives are getting restless. Hey. Yo. Children. Anyway, um, what I usually tell people, and this isn't everybody's general rule of thumb, but it is for me, with my illness in mind, try not to bind any longer than eight, eight consecutive hours. Um, you can cause permanent damage to your ribs and your back and your breast tissue if you're not careful. Um, sometimes I've heard from others that top surgery results won't always be as good if you have been binding for extensive periods of time with no breaks in between. I'm not sure how true that is. Do not quote me on that. Um, just what I've heard passed around. Um, when you bind, stay hydrated. Just trust me. Don't. Do not push it. Try not to exercise in a binder unless your binder is specifically made for that, which I know companies do make. Um, and uh, never, ever, ever sleep with your binder on. That is all bad. Um, if your chest cannot expand and contract correctly, you are putting yourself in danger. Um, if you cannot afford a binder, I know there are programs out there um, that I will attempt to put in the link in the description below. Um, and always be sure to take at least two days off of binding. That way you don't that way you don't uh, that way you're not binding constantly because again that's bad for your ribs, your connective tissues, your lungs, your back, uh, even your skin sometimes. Um, the human body can, can put up with a lot of things, but don't overdo it. You will get sick. Um, I know if you have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, I do, for my own comfort, is I will not bind any longer than five hours at a time. I just can't. Um, so I always make sure I'm somewhere, if I know I'm going to be out, Stop trying to break into the closet. Thank you. Um, if I know I'm going to be out, I try to not... I won't bind earlier on in the day, is what I'm trying to say. I apologize. I'm very tired. Um, and I have eight cats, seven cats in here. Drive me nuts. Um, hey, stop fighting! Thank you! Children, right? Um, you do not need to be on testosterone to bind. For some reason, I've seen a lot of that flying around Instagram lately. Um, there's no reason for that. Um, and you do not need to be on testosterone to be a trans man. That is a big false myth. There is no need to be on testosterone to have top surgery either. Um, for every surgeon that says that you need to have, that you need to be on testosterone to have surgery, there are five other surgeons out there that do not have that same requirement. Um, so just be careful out there. Don't allow yourself to be fooled. Do your research. Um, if you guys have any questions on the binder, if I've missed something, I, again, I've never done this before. Uh, um, comment below, let me know. Let me know what you, what else you'd like to see in these reviews. Um, I'm hoping to do more of them. 
Um, also, put any questions down that you'd like to see addressed in another video, whether it's about Ellers Danlos or me in general or whatever. Um, I do have an Instagram that's linked on my profile. Um, and stay safe, stay hydrated, stay crispy. I'll see you in the next video or Instagram or something. Anyway, stay safe. Always buddy up. Eat your vegetables, drink your water. Try to get at least six to eight hours of sleep per night. Have a good one. Bind safely.